Hi guys, it's me. Hello all of you. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today we are going to film a very different kind of video from my usual. Um, it's a collection video. I know. Oh my god. What, what, what happened? Uh, I've mentioned actually several times here on my channel. If you are a seasoned subscriber, you know. I am not a big fan of collection videos. I don't watch them. That's why I'm not inspired to film them because I'm just not interested. But there's a type of collection video that I actually really like watching and it is sunglasses. I really like to see different pairs of sunglasses that people have. So I thought, you know what, maybe I could film my own uh, sunglasses collection because I have all of them right here in front of me and I actually have quite the selection, I have to say, quite the collection. So I thought, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first pair of sunglasses I want to talk to you guys about is actually, I think this is my oldest pair of sunglasses and they are from Versace. Those were the days in which I would buy one pair of sunglasses and then just stick to the pair every day. I hardly wear them anymore because they just do not suit me at all. They don't suit my style, they're just not me. But still, I have them, they're from Versace. And um, yeah, they have sentimental value, I have to say. One thing that I really like about these sunglasses are the crystals on the side. They're really, really nice. Love you, but not gonna wear you anymore, I think. Then we have my only pair. I know, it's strange, it's strange. I have only one pair of um, Ray-Ban sunglasses. I have several pair of prescription Ray-Ban Ray glasses, uh, but this is the only pair of sunglasses I own. They are the aviators with the mirrored lens. This is what they look like. And these I actually like, but uh, I don't know. I'm really not into the whole green mirrored lens uh, anymore. In fact, I haven't worn them for, I want to say a few years now, but I keep them because, I mean, actually, I, I don't know about you, but do you ever throw away your sunglasses? I don't, even if I don't wear them anymore, I just keep them because you never know, you know, the fashion or whatnot might just come back in style. But these are them. One, that, a pair of sunglasses that I really would like to buy are the classic, you know, green aviators or the round ones. I'm all into round sunglasses. Um, I really like my round Ray-Ban prescription glasses. So I might get the, the one with the actual, you know, the green sunglasses with the round shape. I think those are really nice. So that's Ray-Ban. Then we have a couple of Les Specs sunglasses. This is actually a new pair. I bought this pair of sunglasses, I want to say in December or January. No, I'm thinking December, which is odd because who buys sunglasses in December? I do. I remember seeing these on Lisa Lisa D1. She is uh, one of my most favorite YouTubers. I've been watching her for years, like years and years and years. And she is a sunglasses fanatic, just like moi. Well, I'm not a fanatic, but I do like, you know, wearing a nice pair of sunglasses. I feel that they really make the look. So she showed these pair on uh, one of her videos a while back. I fell in love and bought them immediately. They're from their specs, as I said, and they are ginormous. And I love them. Voila! Yes, I love them. They have the gradient lens. Um, they're not very dark. They're quite see-through, see -through, as you can see from the... Um, you can actually see my eyeballs. So, I mean, that's why I say they are, are see-through. But um, I love them. I feel that they are very 60s, if not 70s. And they are huge and they... I love them. I absolutely love them. But I hardly wore them because I bought them in December. And, you know, in the wintertime, we only get so many days of sunshine. So, yeah, I will definitely make more use of them this summer. And then we have this other pair of Les Specs, which actually I don't uh, quite use anymore because uh, I've come to the conclusion that I do not like sunglasses with the flat lens. I mean, these are mirrored and they are pink and I like them, but I don't like the fact that they are flat. I don't think they suit me uh, very well. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I'm just not, not, not into these. I haven't been into these for a while, so yeah. I just feel that 
because they are flat, I get a lot, a lot of light coming through the side and I don't think they, they suit my face. But uh, yeah, these are from Les Specs. And Les Specs sunglasses are quite affordable price-wise, so yeah. Then we have three pair of Key Australia sunglasses. Now this is a brand that I really, really love. I have three pairs and I love all of them. I, I wear them every time. My Key Australia sunglasses are definitely in my sunglasses rotation during the summer because I really, really like them. And they too, price-wise, are very accessible. This is definitely their most, I want to say one of their most famous uh, types of sunglasses. They are the avi aviator styles with the gradient lens. Very, very, uh, I don't know, rock chic. That's the, that's the word, rock chic. I like them. And yeah, can't wait for summer to kick in. Actually now too, I mean we are in spring and uh, if it wasn't for the lockdown, I would be already rocking all my fabulous sunglasses, but I'm not. But uh, never, never mind, there will, there will be better days. So then we have this pair also from Key Australia. I really, really like these because they have the um, cat lens shape. I really like that. I feel they suit my huge, ginormous, round face. And yeah, they have a pink lens. They are quite mirrored, I have to say. And um, yeah, these two love, love a lot. And then my last pair of Key Australia sunglasses are these ones over here. They too are mirrored and they are gold. And you see, the thing is, these lens too are quite flat, but um, they are bigger. They are more oversized, so I feel that I can get away with the look much, much better. And the, this pair of sunglasses I've actually worn a lot. I can tell you for a fact because they are filthy. But that's and that goes to show how much I've actually worn these um, these sunglasses because I feel that you know with a gold pair of sunglasses in the summertime, you can never go wrong. I wore this pair of sunglasses a lot uh, last summer when I would go to the beach. I don't know about you, but when I go to the beach, the uh, the last thing I want to do is wear an expensive pair of sunglasses. So I feel that the Key Australia sunglasses are the perfect, you know kind of sunglasses you want to wear for the beach because you know even if they fall or whatever they won't break or even if they break you don't it doesn't break your heart but um yeah so these are them and uh, yeah also i really really like them so far so good with the key australia i have three pairs and i like all three of them so that was that and now we can get into the more high-end luxury designer sunglasses i only own one pair of sunglasses from chanel and these are actually quite old, I have to say. Uh, I have, I bought this, I want to say maybe seven or eight years ago. They are quite old, but I feel a classic because, um, you know, they're black. I really like the uh, white ribbon on the side, very Chanel. Uh, this pair I really don't wear a lot because, I don't know, the shape really is, is it's an in-between shape. They're not small, they're not oversized. I am all into the oversized sunglasses for years now, and these are definitely not oversized, or at least not on my face. So yeah, they're pretty and everything, but I haven't worn them in the past few years. So yeah, but still, they're Chanel. It's always nice to have. Then we have a pair from Dior. I have two sunglasses from Dior. And this is a pair that I bought last year, yes, last year, and I wore a ton. I want to say maybe 90% of the summer, I would wear these. These and the Gold Key uh, Australia. When I was on a holiday, like in the beach and stuff, I would wear the Key Australia sunglasses. But then on throughout the week, when I would go to work and stuff, this is the pair that I would go to every single day. And I love them. I am pretty sure, gosh, are they filthy? I can hardly see you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can still find them on the website or in stores because um, I think they belong to the permanent collection. I'm not sure. But I love them. They are oversized. They are super, super light. I mean, you hardly feel them on. And they have the gradient lens. So I wear these sunglasses even when it rains because it ha the, the lens is so clear and see-through even if it's a cloudy day I can still wear them and see perfectly if it's not for you know the dirt of makeup on the lens but you know what I mean they are uh, they are just such 
an easy going sunglasses for every day when you don't want to think about you know what which pair to wear this is the pair that I just grab and go because they just they just look good and I love them and then since we're talking Dior this is my other pair of Dior sunglasses this is the one I say I bought maybe three four years ago haven't worn them much recently but I still love them ah oh, yes i still love them i definitely must wear them more this year uh they are just so cool even though they are not big and oversized the shape is just very very nice they are slightly a uh, cat eye uh and they have the uh dual colored lens i really like the pink pop of color on top and um yeah they don't they don't uh, touch my cheekbones and um they, i just love them i love this pair of sunglasses and I must wear more of them. Uh, yeah, these two are from Dior. And I'm pretty sure you can still find them. Maybe not on Dior, the Dior website, but on you know other uh, websites that sell sunglasses. I'm pretty sure you can still find them. And then, I remember when I bought those Dior sunglasses, I also bought this pair of sunglasses. They are from Porsche. And they are basically a black aviator sunglasses. And these were made famous by Kris Jenner. Um, she had, you know, several pairs and she was, uh, I don't know, maybe wearing them on the, what, keeping up with the Kardashian show or whatnot. Um, so everybody were getting their hands on these sunglasses. And also, um, I discovered them from Alex, HRH collection. She uh, showed them in one of her vlogs several years ago and i think she she bought this pair and the dior as well so that's why i basically copied her and bought both of them and they were a very good two good purchases because i love both of them these two i mean really you can't go wrong with a black pair of aviators mm. they just look good oh and one thing about the porsche sunglasses uh when you buy them they come with two different lenses uh, in fact, I think I got the black one and also I think a silver mirrored lens which I could, you know, interchange with the same frame. So I think that's cool because for the price you're basically getting two pair of sunglasses. Then we have my last three uh, pair of sunglasses. Actually, yeah, I feel that this in this video I showed you guys all my... Um, uh, sunglasses in a certain particular order definitely the more accessible cheaper ones uh, that I love and then the more high-end ones from my least favorite to my most favorite and now we are the last three and the first one that I show you these are from Celine yes Celine I don't remember the name I want to say these are the Audrey or the new Audrey I always confuse the two but I think these are the Audrey sunglasses and this is what they look like I love them I freaking love them they look so good it's just a typical you know standard black pair of sunglasses but uh, just the shape of them I like the Celine you know the three dots on the side and I love them I love them what else can you say about a pair of sunglasses you like them or you don't like them you know what i mean and these i freaking love like a lot and then the second pair i'm actually pretty debated whether, whether to show you this pair or the other pair but um yeah i'm going to show you this pair first and then leave the last one as my most worn uh, most favorite sunglasses of all times anyway these two i love and adore because they are one of a kind and let me just show you first because they're just so beautiful. They are from Gucci and they are the oversized sunglasses in the square shape with the holographic GG lens. <sighs> Guys, these are my unicorn sunglasses. Okay, let me put them on because, I mean, you have to see. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. Love. Ah, yes. That's the thing about sunglasses. They just make the look. They make the look and uh, you just feel like a million dollars. And the reason why I say these are my unicorn sunglasses is because obviously they have, you know, the, uh, the GG holographic that resembles the uh, rainbow colors. And every time I wear this pair of sunglasses, I kid you not, 
I kid you not, I receive compliments all the freaking time. I remember last summer I was coming back from from where was I going? Anyway, I was going somewhere and anyway, I was stopped by this random guy who said, "Look, I just have to tell you, I love your sunglasses." And then he went on and I went on and I was like, "Okay, thank you." I mean, this is the reaction you get from people when you wear these sunglasses because uh, they are just very hypnotizing. I feel that when I wear them, people just stare because they're like, "Whoa, those sunglasses are really a piece of art." This is a pair of sunglasses that if you cannot handle the look, then don't wear it because you have to be able to, you know, wear them. They are definitely a wow, here I am pair of sunglasses. The complete opposite of the Celine. You know, the Celine is very classic, it's a very understated, I want to say, because, you know, that black pair of sunglasses. But these, ah, oh, no, no, are, there's nothing understated about this pair. They are fabuloso. And I love them. They are very me, I have to say. And then guys, last but not least, uh, I have to say among all these sunglasses, okay, this is a pair that I could have actually put in my uh, luxury favorites video because this is a pair of sunglasses that if tomorrow would disappear, I would go and buy in a heartbeat without even thinking about it because this is a pair that I love and adore. Uh, it's my ride or die pair of sunglasses. I've, I've worn them, I don't know, ever since I got them, I wore them all the time to the point that last year, I actually forced myself not to wear them. I said, I, I cannot, it's just, I said, I have so many other pair of sunglasses. I said to myself, I have to wear them too. I have to give them my attention because if I keep wearing this pair all the time, I would totally forget about all my other pair of sunglasses. But these are my all-time favorite pair of sunglasses. I mean, let me just show you wear them. Voila. These are the Chloe round sunglasses. I don't know if they have a particular name or whatnot, but I'm pretty sure you've seen them because um, they are quite popular. They are a popular pair of sunglasses and uh, you can totally see why. They are fabulous. They are super huge. They are round. They have a gradient lens. They just look good. At least on me. I, I love them. I love them. That's, that's all I can say. I just freaking love them. I wear them all the time. And here's the thing about sunglasses, okay? So this is all my collection. And that's all I had to say. But uh, this, if I had to, you know, just give a general overview of sunglasses, I tend to like the sunglasses that have the nose piece. I don't know why, many people say that they don't because they get caught in your hair when you put them up. I actually like the fact that they get caught in my hair because at least I know that they are secure. Where else, when I wear like my other pair, like my Celine for example, and I put them up, because they don't have the nose piece, I am a person that when I talk, I move my head a lot, okay? I'm pretty sure you've noticed that. And so if I have them up and I'm talking, they go flying down and God knows how many times uh, they fell on the floor because they just don't catch into my hair. Whereas the ones with the nose piece, that's also why I find myself wearing those pair of sunglasses more, the ones with the nose piece, because I feel that, um, I don't know, I don't have to think about them. You know, when I'm out and about with my sunglasses, obviously I wear my sunglasses. Then maybe when I go into a restaurant or a shop, a store, I, you know, I'm not the type to put them hanging on my top. I just like them over my head, like in my hair. So the ones with the nose piece are definitely better, for me at least. That's just, you know, something I like. And then you just pull them off, put them back on. You know, it's just so easy. And I don't have to worry about them falling on the ground. So yeah. This is my most favorite pair of sunglasses of all time. And they have different pairs, like the round one but with different colored lens. I got this pair, uh, I love them. I just love them. So yeah guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I actually hope you enjoyed the new location. I think it's pretty cool. Because basically when I film with this camera, I have to be pretty far 
from the camera because it's not wide lens like the other one and uh, my room is quite tiny so it's not that I have that much of space so I thought of uh, filming somewhere different definitely somewhere with more light and we'll see how this one comes up um, yeah and uh, so that's that I still haven't filmed my day in the life during lockdown video it's just not happening what can I tell you this week um, working wise was exhausting yesterday I was talking to a colleague I was like I told him it it's, it was devastating working wise it was devastating I had so many things to do no I was working on actually one major project and uh, I just you know when you get to that situation in which you feel like you're just not it's never gonna end and you feel like you're drowning into your work so yeah the last thing that was on my mind was to uh, film. I actually wanted to but how boring was it going to be because I, I just couldn't think of you know stopping and uh, talking to you guys on the camera. It was just not uh, not the correct time. Maybe next week who knows but we'll see. Anyway take care of yourself, be safe, stay healthy and until my next video bye bye!